other than the uh, what we talked about previously, is uh, the different ways of linking uh, geometry between grasshopper and rhino. So in the previous time, we just created uh, basic stuff like circles. We just like called it from here, from under the curve tab, uh, circle, mm -hmm. this yellow one. And just write 15 and plug that to the radius. We can uh, like change this radius of the circle. So this is like a very, very basic uh, item, like our object creation. We created it uh, totally in Grasshopper. So now it's a Grasshopper uh, object. That's why when I try to choose it, I will not be, I, will, I can't until I'm finished with with setting the parameter and uh, baking. So then I will I will be able to see that as a solid or object or like a curve or on right. The other method that uh, I want to show, like the main point uh, from that we are left from last session, is how to link. Uh, objects from Rhino into Grasshopper. Let's say I want to disable the previous ones, so I don't have anything on my screen. Uh, I want to create some curves. So I will come to this panel here, control point curves. Okay. On my top view, I can just draw anything. I don't know if you want to, to to draw some close the curve to I don't know something. Yeah, this okay. might be okay. Like one open curve, one closed curve. For now, after clicking many times and hitting the first starting point, it will close uh, automatically. Now these are uh, Rhino objects. So uh, these are inside under the layer which is default. They have black color and yeah it's right like we can cad cad thing so we can export them at dwg or something so these are rigid uh, objects let's say i want to uh, work with these objects in software so to do that i will like not select anything come to the grasshopper uh, screen and from parameters you can see here under geometry you, you have all of these like uh, different kinds of data like types of data that grasshopper deals with so mm -hmm. you can use like a point a vector a circle a curve a plane box etc so what we need now is a curve. so uh, to, to to be like very clear about like these, all of these now uh, are only like uh, containers. You can think about them as containers. So if I hit this curve and use it, it will not create anything new. It just uh, considered as like an empty container that needs. Uh, some curves. So th this is what all of these things of the point, the circle, the surfaces here. It's called beer and so. So so its purpose is like a it's a it's a holder. It's a container. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. So it uh, help us or like assist us to link um, objects from Rhino to deal with it with, with these objects in grasshopper okay so to link that i will uh, just right click on this curve on this container and here you can see these two options which is set one curve or set multiple multiple curves which is like, which one do you want to to do for now i want only like one curve so i will just click it when i click it the grasshopper uh, window it automatically goes away it's mm -hmm. hidden and it gives me the ability to only choose one curve so if i choose this now 
uh, I can see that this container here is filled. So it, it's not orange yeah. anymore. So it's working. Now, if I select it, I can see that this is selected. It's highlighted yeah. green. So now, uh, yeah. this is how I know that um, I linked this object from Rhino, this rigid solid object, to Grasshopper to deal with it or to do some works uh, on it and so on. So if I call the panel just to check, you will see here that we have a referenced uh, planner curve. Okay. Planner because it's like on one plane, it does not have uh, Z value. And oh, okay. referenced because we are taking it from uh, a reference from this curve. For example, maybe you can start your um, design from 2D curve, from 3D curve, or something like that. That's something on, in Rhino and do some work on it in grass. So this is how we use this. So I'm going to just create a copy of this, Control C, Control B. These two, because it's a copy, two are linked to one curve. Now, since like we have this copy, it's also linked to the previous curve. I can just, uh, again, right click and set one curve. Now choose uh, this closer. So now okay. the first one is the open, the second one is the closed. Uh, this way um, we linked between uh, like Rhino Geometry and Grasshopper. This is uh, another way, as we said, if if we don't uh, want to create everything like totally in, in Grasshopper, if we have like basic geometry in Rhino, this is the way that we use.